Hello everybody, so I'm just pressing record and seeing where this takes me but I just wanted to give you all an update of kind of where my head's been at and what's been going on the last couple of days and maybe even weeks for the race 50k. I just felt kind of lost, you know, recently. It's just it's hard with everything going on and like the pace we were going at and, you know, we had such good momentum and then everything kind of came to a stop. And like, of course, I just want to, you know, find a scapegoat and blame COVID-19. But I think there's a lot of things on the inside that I've been going through that has been going on for a while, I think, but I've been trying to find excuses on the outside. But a lot of times when that happens, it's something that's going on, on the inside that is really affecting you. And, you know, nobody really talks about mental health. I mean, the only time I really talked about it was when I was in Peace Corps because they made such a, they put such a big en emphasis on, you know, keeping your mental health strong and, you know, keeping yourself safe and healthy throughout the two years that you'll be serving in and living in the middle of nowhere for two years. So, you know, I, I do a lot of reflecting and I always try to find productive things to do and coping mechanisms and stress relievers. And since the start of Race to 50K, I feel like I've kind of strayed away from my own personal health. Yeah, I've been struggling trying to find a direction direction where to go for the race 50k because of everything that's going on and even with myself and i've been sick the last couple of days and that's usually caused because of stress or whatever and lack of sleep and i've been having a hard time focusing and i've just been trying to do a million other things and i think that's because i'm scared of not doing anything so i just try to do a bunch of these things that are kind of just like filling the time and just trying to keep my mind occupied because I don't think I become obsessed or I, I didn't fall in love with the idea of money or followers, or whatever. I think I honestly just became obsessed with doing because I've just been doing so much that I've almost forgotten how to relax and be present in the moment. And before I did this, you know, I prepared myself, you know, mentally, physically for a couple of months before starting the race to 50K. And I knew there would be challenges that come up and speed bumps, which is what I like to call them. And I've always been optimistic. And yeah, these last couple of weeks have just been really challenging because I, I felt very demotivated because of what's going on. And like a lot of what I do and what I've grown to know is just being out in the community and helping others. And I feel like that was taken away from me. So like that sense of normalcy or the sense of control, I guess I kind of lost it and, you know, that control is almost like an illusion. We all want to pretend like we have control over everything, but really we're just, we're, we just pretend to have everything under control, even especially with social media. And that's why I have such a love hate relationship with social media. And I, I did a lot of writing and reading. I did some yoga. Um, and I wrote a poem about social media, which I'll share, but yeah, the big thing is I just kind of lost my way. I always thought of social media as in me as a means to an end. You know, I'm trying to use it to pay off my student loans and I didn't want to be consumed by it. But when I lost the kind of somewhat structure I had in my life with the race 50K, I just began, I don't know, feeling not sad, just I was happy. Loss would be the best word. And because of that, I, I just, try to compensate by entertaining people and just trying to keep people on this journey with me and post whatever is just like things that wouldn't lose followers or whatever. And I think I realized that I needed to take a step back because I kind of was straying away from my goal because my goal is to use social media to pay off my student loans, to share the good stuff. And of course I wanna share everything in my life full transparency the good and the bad and that's why i'm making this video because struggle is part of life and i believe you know it only makes you stronger and i've had struggle in my life and i i want to tell people that it's temporary i mean you just have to find the right outlet to kind of put all that stress or whatever is going on into something else, whether it's a new hobby or talking to people. And I know not everybody has the same support system. Maybe they're not having the best time at home or they don't have people that they can FaceTime. And I'm lucky that I have a lot of friends and family that I can go to in times where I need somebody to talk to. Um, even you all watching this, you've been such a 
good support to me. But yeah, it's just social media. Is, I got such a love hate relationship with social media, and I'm kind of just rambling on right now because these videos aren't super easy to make. I'm just speaking right from the heart. But I'm I'm ready to to restart the race to 50k. I've just been thinking of how to kind of like go about it in a way that's meaningful and try to do what I'm passionate about and not just what I think would please others because really what I've been doing for the last almost 100 days is living my life and doing stuff and helping others and just recording it you know I wasn't doing it something to record I was just recording what I was doing and I just kind of lost that you know that fire in me of doing that because I don't have much to do because of what's going on but there are ways to do stuff and you know i don't have to label everything oh this is a community week this is whatever i'm just gonna do i'm i'm just gonna do what makes me happy whether that's putting out content online or you know helping others by picking up trash or whatever but i want to start this back up again i'm feeling extra motivated i found a new direction that i want to go in and I'm ready to to pay off my student loans. I mean, the first quarter of the race to 50K is over. My quarter life race to 50K crisis is over. And this is gonna be a good second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. And no matter how long it takes me and the struggles that I'll go through, I know that I'll be with you all and I, I'm ready for whatever comes my way. So mahalo to everybody for sticking with me. And yeah, we're $18,000, 34% in only three months. So. That's amazing and that's due to all of your kindness and I'm gonna, you know, put an emphasis on keeping myself healthy. I'm not gonna ignore my needs and put other needs in front of it anymore. When you're so caught up in things, you kind of forget that and I'm gonna make sure I take a step back and have proper rest days and make sure that I'm doing everything with intention because that's a big thing with me. I don't want to do things just to do it. I want to have a purpose for everything. Found my purpose again. I just have to take a step back and reflect on things and reevaluate why I'm doing this. And now I, I'm ready. I've been kind of going back and forth whether I should make a video or not, but I feel like I'm ready right now. And um, just stay tuned. And <laughs> sorry, this is a really long video, but it's basically a diary talking to myself. But that's what it is. Full transparency. Um, I gotta. Be honest with everybody, be honest with myself, and yeah, it's been tough. It's been a <laughs> tough last couple of days, but I've been enjoying, you know, hanging out with my family and playing Mario Kart online with my friends. I deleted all my phone apps before I started, so it's kind of cool to reconnect with them. And I know if people can't find coping mechanisms or find stuff to do, let me know. I'm willing to talk and help you in any way that I can. If you don't have anybody to support you, I'm here for you. Even if it's just online or if you want to FaceTime or whatever, just let me know. If you want to play Mario Kart with me and my friends, just download it on your phone. And yeah, we, we got some ro room in our uh, group chat or whatever you call it, group race. Yeah, please let me know. Let's be there for each other right now more than ever. And we'll get through this. So I'm going to try to find that peak level of happiness again and try to hold on to that and do things that make me happy not just what i think would make others happy so that's why i'm making this video to share this with you all and yeah just it's all right to not be okay that's another reason i want to make this video and show people that i'm just a normal human being i'm not a robot i'm not like some overly happy guy i'm a positive guy and like yeah i'm happy i just haven't been as happy as I thought I was, um, but just stay tuned for more updates and I think that's about it. This is a really long video, so thank you for listening to me. Ahoy ho.